to easy learning and learning simplified my name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on on two mathematics the topic is trigonometric ratios so previously we looked at the term sine and cosine of 45 degrees so today we are going to look at the tangent sine and cosine of 30 degrees and 60 degrees so when we when we were looking at the tangent cosine and sine of 45 degrees we used a right angle triangle that has been derived from an isosceles triangle so for today we are going to be using an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle has equal signs as you can see from the diagram x x x so when we drop a perpendicular bisector from point a for example in this triangle a b c to point n then we are dividing our angle which was 60 degrees to 30 30. that's the reason why we are talking about 30 degrees and 60 degrees because you can get the same from the same uh, right angle triangle so in this right angle triangle we have 30 and 60. so we are going to express a uh, line a n in terms of x so we need to look for this one so if we draw that uh, right angled triangle right angled triangle this is going to be x this is 30 this is 60 so we can use 60 or 30 so we remember that the perpendicular bisector is dividing this x into 2 so if we want to get this side it's going to be x over 2 this side is going to be x over 2 because it's going to be divided in equal parts so this can be x over 2 so let's use 30 let's start with 30 if we were to use um, 30 we can get the adjacent side using um, the hypotenuse using cos so cos 30 is equals to adjacent which we do not know so a n over x and uh, the same thing we can use 60 which is the turn of 60 it can be opposite over adjacent so before we go to that we need to look for the value of x using the Pythagoras theorem so we know this side is x this side is x over 2 so we need to get this so it means x squared is equals to x over 2 squared plus a n squared. So for us to get a n squared is the same as the square root of x squared minus x squared over 2. No, it's x squared. So this a n is equal to so when we do that value so x squared is the same as x squared minus x squared over 4 so this is over 1 so we can do that calculation inside the bracket which uh, the LCM is 4 uh, so this becomes 4x squared minus x squared which gives us 3x squared over 4 so a n is the square root of 3 over 4 x squared that's what we have so this is the same as we can separate this to the square root of 3 over 4 times the square root of x squared which can give us x square root of 3 over 4 alternatively now we can introduce the whole numbers as we did uh, from before so if we were to use a right angled triangle with a 2 and a 1 here and a 1 remember 1 1 because we noticed from the image that we had uh, then this would be uh, 2 squared is equals to 1 squared plus x squared this would mean x squared is equals to 2 squared minus 1 squared 
and uh, if we want to get the value of x it's going to be the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared which is the same as 4 minus 1 which is the square root of 3. So if we go to the details now of the cos we have the tan 30 cos 30 uh, sine 30 because we need these values so tan 30 when we use 30 when here is 30 and this is root 3 and we have the 60 so tan 30 is going to be opposite which is 1 of adjacent, of, um, adjacent which is root 3 and cos 30 is going to be adjacent which is root 3 over hypotenuse over root 2 and then sine 30 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse which is 2 and then tan 60 if it's tan 60 is going to be opposite which is root 3 over adjacent which is 1 then tan 30 is going to be not tan um, cos cos 60 we have changed to 60 60 degrees is going to be adjacent which is 1 of hypotenuse and then sine 60 which is going to be opposite which is root 3 of hypotenuse 2 so those are the values as you can see uh, i've projected them so for the 45 degrees celsius we knew that one uh, from the previous lessons so you need to be able to remember these values so that you can be able to work them out without actually using the table. So let's use the values to, to do a few calculations. So simplify the following using the tables, uh, use the trigonometric ratios. So where we have uh, 45 degrees, so you go back to what we discussed on the 45 degrees. So the first question is going to be sine. 30 degrees cos 30 degrees. Basically, there's a multiplication uh, in between. So we know that sine 30 is a half times cos 30 is 3 root 3 over 2. So if you multiply this, you're going to get root 3 over 4. And then uh, B, we have 4 cos 45 degrees sine 60. If we go back to the previous slide, remember cos 45 is 1 root 2. So it's 4 times 1 root 2, 1 over root 2 times sine 60, which we have just done a few minutes ago, which is root 3 over 2. So it means it's 4 times 1 times root 3 over root 2 times 2, which gives us 4 root 3 over 2 root 2. So if you cancel this one, it gives us 2 root 3 over 2, over root 2. And then uh, 3 cos 30 plus cos 60 degrees so it's 3 times cos 30 is 3 root 3 over 2 plus cos 60 we said is a half so this is the same as 3 root 3 over 2 plus a half the lcm is 2 so it's 3 root 3 plus 1. So this is our answer. So we have a few more, that is we have D, E, you can work them out on your own using now the values that we got from our previous slide. So I hope you have been able to understand how we did those calculations. So uh, watch out for more revision questions on the same subtopic in the app and also notes on the same. So see you in the next lesson.